everybody out there, this is Popular Stranger, and we are back at you again today with another MLB 24 The Show Diamond Dynasty video. Team Affinity Season 2 is here along with a bunch of other content. We're going to go over everything you need to know and what you need to do first to earn all of this free content for your Diamond Dynasty squad. Let's go ahead and jump right on into it. Like I said, a lot to go over, but we're going to cover it all in this video, and let's start with the brand new Team Affinity program. The great news is if you either got the game late or you were a slacker like me on Team Affinity 1, these things kind of work together in the sense that you can now grind both Team Affinity 1 and Team Affinity 2, and you get a fresh start with Team Affinity 2, which is going to feature 30, 93 overall cards that can all be yours for free. So if you go over to your play tab, go to programs, go to Team Affinity, you're going to see it here. So six different sections for each division in baseball, and we'll just go with the AL East, for example, here. So you can scroll through the rewards on your own to see them. There's a bunch of packs, unlockables, things of that nature. Uh, there is a new addition in a Spring Breakout slash Soul Series choice pack, so I believe this one is going to guarantee you at least a 90 overall with a chance at something a little bit higher there. And you're going to find these in each individual division, so NL East, AL East, etc. Um, the champions, or not champions, too busy playing Madden, the bosses in these packs here are all going to be 93 overall, so I'm not going to scroll through all of them in each division, but just know that each division features five 93 overalls, and you should have enough of these packs so you can see here at level 10 scroll down a little bit further level 14 level 17 level 22 and then finally level 24 you earn this particular pack five different times and if we go into any other division here al central for example you're going to see that same kind of sequence on the packs there's the soul series spring breakout pack and here's the first al central pack and it's going to feature your choice of 593 overall. So you can get all of these cards for free. It's just, you know, how do you prioritize which ones you take first? You might pick it for your favorite team. You might pick it by position. It's really up to you. I'm not going to break down the best ones out there, but you're going to be able to earn all of them for free at the end of the day. So there's a bunch of different things that you can do to earn XP within these various programs, and these are all treated differently, right? So again, AL East is going to be different than NL Central, and NL Central is going to be different than the NL West but the tasks are kind of similar in a sense that you're doing the same things just based off of different teams to earn XP. But uh, they did change it up this time around. There's one big team affinity map and there are objectives within that conquest map that will give you vouchers and they are repeatable. I'll show you the map in a little while here. But when you get these vouchers, you can essentially trade them in for XP within this team affinity program. So a little bit different prior to this, you would do a specific map and that map would give you a set number of XP. Now, just like you can do with many seasons, you can repeat the conquest map and get these vouchers over and over and over again. And that's going to be a great opportunity to earn PXP, whether it's a specific player or a specific team or a specific position, because a lot of the things that you're going to do to earn XP in these team affinity programs is getting PXP. So you can see here with this chapter two for NL Central, earning PXP with the Cubs, Reds, Brewers, Pirates, and Cardinals are all going to give you uh, XP within this program. And then they also have some player specific ones. And this is based off of chapter one and two bosses. So you can see like Sammy Sosa, Joey Votto, for example, these cards, if you got them from Team Affinity season one or chapter one, chapter one they can still earn you PXP within chapter two tasks and that's definitely a W because they're still going to earn you. Like if you load up a lineup with all Brewers players, you're going to be earning a ton of PXP towards this specific mission. But like I said, if you slack like me and you didn't knock out all of the chapter one objectives and you scroll down here, you can see that there's the same mission. So these are going to be counting double time towards both chapters one and two for each individual division. So you got all your repeatable PXP missions. There's multiplayer missions. You can scroll all through all of these on your own, but basically playing online and knocking out certain things here is going to give you XP. You got your single player missions. This is another great opportunity to knock out some of these things. And there are some that are repeatable, but this is a great opportunity to knock out these things while you're playing through the conquest map or while you're playing through the team affinity one um, mini seasons. 
you can, you know, you can kill like seven birds with one stone if you slacked off and even if you didn't because there's just so many things. I would never recommend player exchanges. It's just not worth it at the end of the day. There's enough other things in the game that allow you to earn XP within these programs to knock them out rather than exchanging your cards that could be selling for stubs. There is one extreme moment. I do like this for those of you that are really good at the game. You get 10,000 XP if you can knock this one out on the Hall of Fame difficulty. There is a new showdown for chapter or two we'll show you that for a mo in a moment and then also you have march to october so those are going to be all of the things that you can do to earn xp in the brand new team affinity chapter two programs and you got 30 free 93 overalls if you go over to other programs we do have season awards drop number three they followed the exact format that they did for one and two unfortunately that means there's a couple good cards right like 92 93 94 overalls i haven't taken a look at the specific specific ovrs but basically this has been giving us good cards that are not in the reward path and that's been a big gripe that everybody in the community is having you do get a 93 at the end of the drop number three here and ronel blanco and here is the card it looks decent but really this card's a piece to the bigger puzzle to getting those lightning players all of the cards leading up to it you know they're just kind of filler cards they do go to the season one collection which is certainly a w because that's going to help you knock out uh, that collection and get some you know free 99 overalls eventually so the more cards that go into that collection that you can earn for free the better and like i said this is going to follow the same format as drop one and two you got a couple moments here that you can knock out three six nine twelve 15 XP that you can get right here, which will earn you your very first player. And the first player is going to be Jordan Westberg. So you throw him in your lineup. And if you have a bunch of the other top snow cards from drop number two, you can see I'm slowly getting my way there. Uh, and then also drop number one, using these players in your lineup is going to give you XP as well. Because if you go down to the PXP missions, you need to earn it with award series winners. You need to earn it with the Conforto card that was part of drop number two. And then you have the tops now series pxp missions which has been similar and you know in every drop so far you also got statistical missions hitting home runs getting hits so the more tops now players that you have in your lineup the quicker you're going to be knocking out these pxp missions you got your general missions and you got pxp with guardians players each and every week you might be able to find some guardians going up in price due to this people are going to be scrambling to go out and buy a bunch of cards so they can knock out this mission though it shouldn't take too long because it's only 250 pxp now there is a collection for all of this as you start to earn these champions or bosses whatever we call them at the end of each drop we're now onto the third one you can trade these in once you collect two of them you get a show pack six of them is going to give you a bowling as a habit pack and ten of them will give you a jumbo show pack but Drop number four, which is going to be the next one, more than likely next Friday, will earn the first of two Lightning Series players. And then when we get to drop number eight, you're going to have a second one. I don't know what OVR that card's going to be, but hopefully it'll be somewhere between like a 94, 95, 96, somewhere up there higher than a 93, obviously. So if you want to hit the ground running when drop number four goes live next week, make sure you get all of this done. Try to get up to date. That's definitely going to be the focus for me. Going back to the Team Affinity content here, is the brand new conquest map like i said if you go back to chapter one there were individual maps so central west and east had their own maps this time around there's just one really big map and if you take a look at the goals within here um most of them goals two three four five they're going to be repeatable and it's just basically saying like capture 15 strongholds 10 strongholds five strongholds i don't know how quick it would be if you just continue to capture five and then reset the map and then capture five again um but this is a repeatable goal so every time you get one of these vouchers you can trade it in or exchange it in to get xp in that team affinity program i think this is new they did it last year and they're doing it for the first time this year the nike city connect program uh, is going to feature the philadelphia phillies new uniforms look pretty nice i know a lot of people don't really like the font on them but they did it for the direct declaration of independence that was like the font that they used to sign it you don't care about that you just want free content but this map does give you some stuff here you know you get a show pack you get a nike city connect icon banner and eventually the uniforms are going to be in here 
another playground to go out and earn pxp so when you're done with the team affinity conquest map and you want to get these rewards as well you go through play this one any games that you play to capture the four strongholds in this map they're going to go ahead and give you pxp as you play through those and if you guys need help knocking out any conquest maps if you're lost on how this game mode works down below in the comment section in the description of this video you can find my tutorial that i put out at the beginning of the year that goes over how to beat conquest if you're a beginner and you get confused about this i promise promise you the way that I explain it you'll find it very very easy so go watch that video there is also a brand new showdown for chapter two this one will give you more vouchers the vouchers you can trade in for team affinity xp in the chapter two section and no new mini seasons here but you can still play through mini seasons one and as far as I understand the vouchers that you earn in team affinity season one can be traded in in chapter two as well to get you that xp so it's just another avenue to not play online to go out and grind pxp and also get vouchers to get progress towards teen affinity chapter two we got more free rewards in three different online events so i don't want to spend too much time on this because i think a lot of you know how it works but there is a brand new rank seasons program going on and whether you're good or bad at the game you can still earn a lot of this content for free it's just going to be the duration of how long that you play if you take a look at the rank program itself it's going to work similar to most programs in the game so more drops will come with more statistical and inning missions but for now these are things that you can do to earn xp within this program just simply playing the game basically getting strikeouts uh, rbis and hits and home runs in ranked and if you take a look at the reward path here it's going to look similar to the very first chapter there is a alejandro kirk that you're going to get at 75 xp so this is a free 95 overall diamond and then you do have the world series pack which you can earn just by playing the game and when i say that i mean like being good at it and earning the world series level but if you're not good enough to get there like i probably am not you do get this choice pack eventually where you get to pick between these two cards with jacob de and mike cameron br also got an update here so if you happen to be able to go 12 and 0 or is it 10 and 0 this year um or go through the program two of the 95 overall diamonds you have fernando Veles venezuela that card's always been a pain to hit and it probably will be again this year and a silver slugger awards winner ryan braun i can't go into the program and show you because i'm in the middle of a draft and i don't feel like dealing with that right now but just know those are the two free diamonds and then we do have an ongoing event here as well the past present and future you can see all of the requirements that you're going to need to build your lineup you can use legends live series prospects season awards tops now show classics and any chapter two team affinity cards and the reward path is going to be as follows you got a barry larkin at 10 wins for an 89 overall diamond there's his card and all the way at 20 wins you're going to get yourself a pipeline andrew painter card doesn't look too bad love the 99 velocity and break there so once you get to 20 wins in this online event which let me look back and see when it expires here uh, april 26 so you got roughly about two weeks once you get to 20 wins you're going to get that card there is a rewind pack here so if you missed one of the prior events you can go back and get the cards from one of those now and that's going to come at eight wins there's a second one at 18 wins that features the players from the second event I think the first ones were from the first event that we had this year and you can always go above and beyond so a couple different ways to earn more free content by playing online obviously that's going to be a little bit more sweaty but it's out there for you to go get just worth noting with the season collections here because we have all of these new team affinity cards and all of these cards that are in the events and ranked seasons etc they're all going to go into this season one collection now when you get up to 400 you're going to get this beautiful icon that literally does you nothing but at 325 cards you're going to get your choice of these three 99 overalls same thing at 300 and same thing at 280 so more cards in the ecosystem like i said now allows you to get to some of these goals quicker when you get to 200 cards you get a 95 overall at lighter 120 cards a rich aurelia this is a card that was added a couple weeks ago and i think a lot of you are probably in the territory of getting all of these I, you know i'm getting kind of close to 30 cards here again i'm slacking on this game but i'm going to turn it up a notch now that we got chapter two team affinity content so just wanted to point that out and i think that's it aside from packs of course which is 
just been a headache this year with the way they're delivering content. Make sure you go redeem your free packs. They expire within a couple days here for the Jackson Holiday and the Jazz Chisholm cards. There's a headliners pack number nine, does that say? Are we all the way up to nine already? Uh, which is going to feature this Kyle Harrison card at 95 overall. And then also we have Drop 3 Season 1 awards. I was talking about this earlier. You can earn a bunch of free content from Drop 3, but the really good cards, the 94 overalls and even the 91 overalls, the cards that people are going to want are more desired are stuck in packs and again if they would put like this pack in the reward path it, I think it would make things a whole bunch better, but the only way to get these cards is either spending your stubs or spending your money to buy stubs to then go ahead and open up the pack. And I think that covers it. So a lot to do, but obviously go focus on that Team Affinity content. 30 free, 93 overalls. Go get it done. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.